Hello everyone, it's Brooklyn here, and today I have another um, Pop Fizz Paper uh, blog video for you. I seem to be enjoying doing the videos right now, so I thought I would do this, plus I thought it'd be really neat to see how I do this plan with me, and it saves me from taking 8 million photos. Um, so, what I'm bringing with you today is a quandary. Um, as some of you may know, I'm bullet journaling for December and that's cool it's going good um, but the biggest thing here is that um, I miss my stickers and I don't want to not do stickers and I don't want to do my sticker planning in my other planner that just seems wasteful because I'm not looking I'm not even looking at it and so because of that quandary, I'm bringing to you an idea, concept, a theory of using my uh, Harry Potter, uh, a very merry Harry, I think that's the name of this kit, um, Happy Planner stickers in my bullet journal. Okay, we're going to see how this works. So here's the finished layout um, with all my stuff written into it. I color coded my things as usual. So black is just standard stuff. Green is my work. Pink is pop fizz paper. Um, I think I'm going to, to kind of revisit this um, color code, uh, uh, especially in the new year because there's some changes going on. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm frustrated that I didn't that I didn't align, that I was, wasn't was paying attention, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are a bit unaligned. But other than that, that's fine. It's not the perfect spread, 
could have done things better. This whole thing could have moved forward so I had more space for Sunday. But otherwise, I'm really happy with it. I think it's fun. It's a great way to use up stickers when I feel like it. Um, I probably won't do this with every spread, but it's definitely a good start. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to check the blog post over at popfizpaper.com. And like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.